Welcome back guys and girls. Happy release day to everyone watching. It is Harvestella Day. I'm ready to get back to the farm. I'm going to have links in the description if you guys want to pick up the game as well as to the past three parts. Um, if you guys want to check that out for yourself. Because um, uh, we are a little bit ahead um, as you can see by the title. Um, the demo released a couple couple months ago let you explore the, f uh, the first chap few chapters of the game so i did do that we're gonna be starting off from there um this was a review code provided to me by square enix to show you guys I'm, i was graciously given it and i'm um happy to continue and i am very honored that they honored me with this um this code uh so definitely go check out the game if you guys are excited for what you're about to see and we will continue something's going on outside so uh there was a small scene that um you guys did slightly miss my my recording got corrupted and i was so sad about that basically i got visited by the by the goddess that visited me in the beginning um of the demo she just told me how did it feel to touch the crystal she said this world is what I make it for the most part. And uh, then we woke up, which is where we're at now. We're going to go outside, see what's happening, see what's going on. Hey! You hear a voice coming from the farm. What is that dome? Hello? Let's see if I remember. Buttons. Because, um. Okay. It's been a minute. Hey, over here! What is that thing? A pair of legs buried in the ground is talking to you. Uh, is it like a fairy? I'll pretend I didn't see that. Yeah, that's creep. Ew, that's creepy. I'll bury the rest. What happens if I touch it? Hey, that tickles. <laughs> this is no time to be messing around. You're meant to be helping me out of here. Don't you have any common sense? The legs are still talking. Ignore them. Help. We'll help them out. It's a little fairy. <sighs> Finally. What took you so long? Fairies have things to do, you know. Uh, what are you doing on my farm? Alright, I was, um... What was I doing again? Yeah, lady. I don't understand why you're here. Oh, yeah. It's finally finished. Despite that little hiccup, I'm going to seal the farm now. What? Were you protecting my farm? Well, you know. You know how that shiny dust started falling all of a sudden? It's not the season for that yet. So I was performing the dance of protection to seal your farm off from it. Aren't you glad? Anyway, so I was doing the dance when this horse with a weird horn came charging at me full speed. That's how I ended up on the ground. Can you believe that horse? Oh, I'm mad. Just thinking about him acting all pompous because of that stupid horn. Hey, here's an idea. Horse, why don't you try growing some opposable thumbs before you start thinking about a horn? Is it the horse, the unicorn? That, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the fairy ha seems to have protected the farm from Quietus. Uh, that was the weird unicorn that I met, right? I think. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm exhausted after all that. I'm going to take a little rest inside inside my farm. Is she moving here now? 
Are you okay, Luke? Are you okay? You look alright. You went outside and quiet us like it was nothing. Uh, doesn't quiet us come between seasons? We don't know what brought it on so suddenly this time. We wouldn't normally expect it around now. The order said they had to go back to the Winter Sea Slide at their headquarters as it, it was acting strange. I wonder if it has something to do with how the Sea Slide lit up yesterday. Or maybe the world is just going haywire. Anyway, I'm glad to see you're looking well. I'm going to go check on the rest of the village now. Why, thank you. Yeah, is this a beetle? Where are you? Why are you? Oh, the fairy? Oh no, sounds like Ari is looking for me. Did she see the fairy in there? <laughs> Call it a beetle? Oh, I'm shipping all of this out, huh? Oh no, I'm not. That's my stuff. Okay, she can wait, because... That was a mistake. Uh, summer and fall. I actually don't know what date it is at the moment. I guess I'm at the very least. Um, water these. Oh. Okay. We just have to go take care of her. Hi! What is that? A bug? Is that a bug? Oh no, I hate bugs. Excuse me. How dare you? I'm not a bug. <laughs> Look at those creepy legs. It flies. Is this some kind of ancient moth? Why are they so huge? <laughs> ancient moth, hello, look at me, I'm not scary at all. Calm down, Arya. Why did you bring this fruit fly into the house? Now I'm a fruit fly. <sighs> See, just a cute little fairy. Look, she's not a bug, she's a fairy. Fairy? Oh yeah, you're not a bug. Of course I'm not, how rude. They kind of look alike. So fairies did exist at some point then. But they don't exist in my time, so... But they don't exist in my time. So they must have gone extinct somewhere along the lines. That's unsettling. What's up with this human? What's a fairy doing inside the house anyway? buried in your farm just now? That's a pretty far-fetched sequence of events, but I'll take your word for it. So apart from the fact that she's a fairy, she's otherwise an unidentified stranger in, in, in your home, correct? That's not true. I'm the great fire fairy, ruler of the all worlds of fire. Huh? Uh, you don't have a very strong presence. You complain too much, human. Yeah, sure. Of course you're the great fire fairy. So what business does a great fairy like you have with him? It's an emergency. The world is in danger at this very moment. The whole world? Yes. Since yesterday, there has been no sign of any of the great fairies. I bet it's because of how the sea slight lit up. Since then, all the other sea slights must be acting strange. Ah, uh, Cress mentioned earlier. Too. It must be having a terrible effect on my fellow fairies. Uh, fairies are connected to the sea site? Connected? We made them. In other words, we are the powers behind everything in this world. And you're in charge of fire? So let me guess. The other three are earth, water, and wind? Yes, how did you know? That's right. The Great Water Fairy made the Summer Seaside, Wind Mage Spring, and Earth Made Winter. If anything happened to us, the world's four powers would be thrown off balance. It would wreck all kinds of havoc. How did you make the Seaside? 
it's very complicated. I could explain until my wings fell off and you still wouldn't understand. Why wait till they fall off? I could pluck them off for you. Anyway, the point is, I need someone to go to each sea site and save my fellow fairies. And you chose him? Well, he does have an altruistic side to him, I suppose. But he's not falling for that tall tale, are you? Uh, I've got farm work to do. Now, wait a second. You wouldn't even have a farm if I weren't here protecting it. I'm a great fairy, remember? If you help me out, then I could make your work on the farm a little bit easier. I'm sure the other great fairies would gladly join, too, if you saved them. Okay, sure. No idea. Uh, karma's coming back around to bite you. Just wait. Where are you going? Does it matter? What's wrong with her? Oh, well. So anyway, what do you say? Shall I take that as a yes? <sighs> sure. Phew, I was hoping you'd say that. Well, first things first. Could you make me a pact? This is your first time living with a fairy. A pact is what formalizes our connection. It's kind of like a name. So could you assign one for me? Something suitable for a little fire fairy. Juno. Uh, I'm a I'm a 14 nerd. <laughs> Fail ooh. Fail ooh, huh? Not bad. You have taste. Anyway, nice to meet ya. As I mentioned earlier, the other fairies are at their respective sea slide. To get to the sea slide from here, you'd go east from the spring sea slide. See where you'd like to go first, but I'd recommend starting with the spring sea slide. For a number of reasons, I mean. Well then, I'll be here on the farm if you ever need anything. Come ask me if, if you have any questions. Go and investigate the sea slides. Um, where was it? I'm trying to get acquainted with uh, the round rob the round robin of buttons again. Interesting. For sure. Storage box. I don't think I'm going to need any of this right now. I'll, t I'll keep those. I'll put the meat away. Uh, sort. I think that will do for now. For my, my inventory. I'll try and think about heading on out. Arya, what are you up to? Don't tell me. You agreed to help that fairy, didn't you? I met a few do-gooders like you in my era. 
But sadly, it didn't end well for any of them. The ones who worked hard for the sake of humanity and for what really mattered deserved the most happiness. But the society we were born into didn't reward them that way. It was the honest people who suffered. The more genuine and hardworking you were, the harder your life was. The lazy people would see that and feel better about themselves, thinking it was no use to work hard. Why waste energy on something you can't change? At least we were all going down together. That's what they thought. What do you think? Me? I don't know. I don't believe everything that fairy said, but she was right about this era being in crisis. I knew it when I saw that quietus, if that's what you call it. I can't tell you anything more specific than that. I told you why. If I give you information from the future, and that changes the course of events that leads to said future, I might never exist. A time traveler's life depends on how they handle their information. On the other hand, if I don't say anything, then we'll make no progress. It's a hard balance to strike. Anyway, you're going to the other seasides, right? I want to come too. You want to help the fairy? Don't be silly. Anyone who falls for the tall tales of a fairy deserves to be duped. My goal hasn't changed. I still want to get back to my time period, but I have a feeling that me being here now is somehow related to the fact that there's a crisis in this time. I might find a way to get home by learning more about those, those stones. It's still just a theory at this stage, though. Besides, I owe you one. Uh, I don't remember what I did. <sighs> You're not all there, are you? <laughs> Rude. I. Anyway. Let me know when you're headed to the stones. Uzi's meeting with Arya awakens heightened powers. You acquired the Assault Savant job class. Ooh. A job that utilizes science and martial arts. Dope. Why don't we go gather information about Lethif for now? be better to have even a little information before going to the other sea site. Hey, she's in the party. She's, oh, she's the assault savant. This science is the fruit of human wisdom. Cool. And... I can throw that on here. So I can switch between them at, at will. Also, can I do this now? Can you? Yes, I can. Okay. It is spring currently. I see that now. Uh, yes, so I can, I can do that. I can do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oopsies. Uh, I want to be here, I think. Alright. Interesting. It takes two now? Has it always take two swings? I don't remember that. There's a letter here for you. Oh. Okay, thank you. Um,
What's the letter? I'm worried about those three. How are you keeping? Because I'm relieved to see you're getting used to village life. Have you met Vaughn and his pals yet? In the Castle Lewis Times. Okay. Nothing super interesting. to get used to buttons. More <sighs> um. points. Are you taking good care of your flying bug friend? Yeah, let's make a repair kit. That's new. A box of various tools contains strengthening, contains strengthening lumber and stones. A must have in every household. Repairs broken bridges and, and etc. Yes, yes. Um. Okay. That'll help me repair some some points. For sure. What is this? Mine? What was the way out of town? I, th I think it was there, right? Bye bye. Bye. We gotta go to Lefe? This icon indicates a place where a quest will progress. A storyline that will deepen the bonds with your friends will continue the location of the icon. Um, okay. So there's a few of them up here. Hey, kids. What are you doing? Gotcha! You never win at the catch. You never win and catch Canelo. You always catch up to me so fast. I want to play hide and seek next. There's no way you can beat me at that. Yeah, bring it on. I have to get. I have to go get some. Ah, uh, come on. But we've only played one game. I know. I'm sorry. I'll see you both tomorrow. What's with her lately? It's not even dark out. I wanted to play hide and seek. Oh, look! Uh, did Milika head home already? She did this yesterday, too, and the day before. Come to think of it, Milika's been like this for a few days now. It's not even dinner time yet, neither. What's up with that? Uh, does she have an early curfew? Maybe she has chores. No, I don't think Milika's the type to help out with chores. She loves playing games too much. I think Lucas is on to something, though. There must be a reason. Hey, Vaughn. Do you think that maybe Milika's just super mad at us? What's going into you? Why would she... You know, I think you might be right. See? I thought so. Uh... And what are you going to do about it? No idea. Yeah, me neither. But we gotta do something. This whole situation seriously cutting into our playtime. 
Do you really think she'll stop being mad at us if we do something now? Ugh. Quit being such a weenie. We gotta be willing to put in the work and find out. This calls for Operation Super Sorry. Uh, Super Sorry? The Super stands for Super Difficult. And now you're in on it, too. That's right. You know the code name. Welcome to the Shared Destiny Core. Time to strategize. So, what do you guys think we should do? Uh, how about giving her a gift? A gift, huh? My dad always buys my mom a present after a big fight. Oh, ooh. Okay. I think Melika would like that. Let's give her a gift. Let's try looking for something at that place we found the other day. Good idea. We're heading just outside of town to the Nord Steps. And we ain't coming back until we've found something Milika likes. See you there. Milika's secret. Okay. That's story related. I think we're gonna go do Milika's secret first. I need a fishing rod to fish, which I don't currently have. Uh, how much money did I have on this? 460. Will that buy me anything? I've almost got enough for a backpack level 2. Wait, what's the... It's spring. Okay. I'm gonna buy a carob seed. We'll get ready to plant that when I get back to the house. And it does look like there's two quests hanging out around here, so. Are these both main? I think they are. It wants us to ask around town to both of these people. Wait, what's this house? Hello. I really want the Totokaku. <laughs> a fluffy creature with large horn horns. Oh, it's a rideable mount. 4,000. And these are everything I guess to feed, feed animals. I need those in my life. So badly. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. So I know they, they, um, the developers actually adjusted some feedback from the demo and they've, they've adjusted some things. Uh, for example, days are now longer, which I, I, I appreciate because I did feel like they were going by relatively quickly, which I want to spend as much time as I can chilling in, in the days ahead. Okay, let's go to the Nord Steps. Is that up here? No. Go make sure these kids are okay. Uh, are okay. No! I need to go to the Nord Steps though. Okay, whatever. of Requiem. I'm afraid we don't sell anything like that here. I see. That is quite a shame. I was sure I would be able to find one if I came here. But all is not lost. I was able to find something even better by coming here. Really? We have something that rare? Indeed. You don't often find ladies graced with beauty such as yours in any old village. Why, I... 
charmer. What's this? Excuse me. Oh ho, you do have quite an interesting scent. Uh, scent? Apologies, I was just curious. You have a peculiar air about you. So do you need my wares or not? You came all the way from Shatola, right? Ah, that's right. It looks like you don't have the mechanisms I need. Uh, mechanisms? Oh, I'm sorry. I should introduce myself. The name is Hind. I tend to inhabit the Chateau Atelier. You can find Chateau south of here. It's quite a peaceful little port town. Or rather, it was. It's grown busier since that event with the sea slight and Lorelei's appearance. Anyway, it looks like I'm done here. Do stop by the Atelier if you find yourself in Chateau, won't you? Okay, weirdo. Talking about my scent. Uh, use A when selecting stories and quests from the menu diary to prioritize and display. Okay. So, so it looks like they're split up into sections. Like, so you got chapter three B, chapter three. Oh, it looks like so, okay. So chapter three is gonna be split up into three different things that I have to go to. I am good, sir. Let's go talk to the doctor lady. I think that's who's in here. Maybe the heaven's egg. This dude looks decent. I'm sorry for being such a bother. It's no problem at all. Though I must say I was surprised, considering I'd just given Astina some medicine for. For Nemia Town, too. Don't tell me there's something going on around that at the orphanage. No, no, it's nothing like that. Uh, it's nothing like that. Ah, welcome. Would you give me a moment? I'm just dealing with another client. Thank you for waiting. Uh, are you from Leth? I just moved in. This is Luke. He lives nearby, but he's seen his fair share of trouble. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, the name's Asil. He came all the way from Nemia Town. Well, that's because there isn't a doctor as skilled as you there, Dr. Cress. Uh, where's Nemia? Oh, that's right. You must not know. Nemia is east of here. Sitting pretty close to the spring sea site. It's a beautiful town filled with cherry blossoms. I definitely recommend going to see them for yourself sometime. Well, actually, now might not be the best time for sightseeing. Uh, did something happen? We've been having some trouble. We've been seeing some strange occurrences ever since the sea slight was acting up not long ago. It's caused a few injuries amongst those who were investigating the egg. Uh... They were investigating an egg? So the strange structure called the Heaven's Egg appeared next to the seaside. And ever since then... Hey, Cress. I brought you the ingredients you asked for. Thank you, Dim. I just need to mix these and... All done. Your medicine is ready, Asil. Thank you so much. In that case, I'd best be heading back. Dr. Cress, Mr. Dim, and Luke. I hope we can meet again soon. Dr. Cress.
Mr. Dim. So the spring seaside is in Namia. Did you pique your interest? It looks like they're all like giving me like there's sections I'm gonna have to go to from what it looks like. Anything to do with the seaside, huh? Your need to meddle in other people's business is unparalleled. If you wanna go sticking your nose in their troubles, then that's on you. You wanna fix it, right? I wouldn't say that. You can find Nemia Town to the east of Leth, beyond the Nord Steps. Tell us, uh, said hello if you decide to go. Yes, ma'am. I will do so. And then there should be one more. Whatever's going on over here. I see. This is a giant monolith, isn't it? I bet this has something to do with what's been going on lately. Uh, I don't think we're meant to go near it. Oh? Do you live in this village? My name's Shriek of Vermand. Viramond. I'm a missionary from the Seaside Order. The Seaside has been acting strange recently, hasn't it? I'm looking into it now. I actually came to this village just before that happened because, because I heard a meteor landed here. Do you know anything about it? Apparently we can't go in there now. We can't go in there now. But well, that means there was a time when we could? How come you know so much anyway? You're not just a plain old villager, are you? Ah, I see. So you're not a villager. You're a traveler. Sister Shrika, it's about time we got going. Already? Alright. I figured a few things out. See you later, traveler. I'll be in the holy capital in the west, so come visit me. If you're in the area. Although you're investigating the seaside, so I'm sure we'll run into each other again. You're wondering why? It's pretty obvious. It's because the winter seaside is in the holy capital of Argen. Argin. Let's go. Now it looks like I can tackle whatever direction I want to first when exploring the sea slides. I kind of hope there's a way to extend um, I kind of hope there's a way to extend um, my character's like abilities a bit uh, in terms of hit, uh, the stamina bar at some point. That'd be nice. Alright, let's go to the Nord Steps now. Go find those kids. Wow. This is some meadow. It's my first time seeing a view like this. You don't have meadows in your time? I 
wouldn't say that we don't, but they're not what they used to be. Still, there's a good number of monsters prowling around here. We need to get past this meadow if we're to reach Nemia, and it isn't going to be easy. We're going to want to take breaks as we go, so we don't wear ourselves out, but... Oh, look! That place would be perfect for taking a break. I don't see any monsters around it. The sooner we spot areas like that, the better. Let's keep an eye out for them. Uh, you ready to take a break? I think we should. We don't know what's waiting for us up ahead. We should be able to enjoy a relatively relaxed meal. Can't do much on an empty stomach, right? You can take a break where you see a modus monolith. Choose a meal to enjoy with your party members. It's a good chance to learn their favorite meals and see another side of them. Okay. Cool. Take a... Oh, I see it. Take a break. Um, okay. Damn, she is much stronger than me. My next question, though, is now is, um... Is... Uh, does taking a break recover stamina? Here's these kids. Lucas, you came! Alright, commencing Operation Super, sorry! Wait a sec, Vaughn. We haven't even decided what the present's going to be yet. Good point. Um, Dad says girls like pretty stuff, so maybe she'll like something pretty. Pretty stuff. Oh, we can look for a pretty stone! Nice! Okay, that's the gift decided. All that's left is to find one. Do you have it? the right tools on you? Uh, of course. Alright, nice work, recruit. Roll out! Hey, Vaughn, did you find anything? Nothing, I can't find a single one. How about you? Oh, I saw something shiny behind me. I found something, Captain! What? For real? Whoa, you did it! Nicely done. You deserve a reward for your service. It's pretty. There's no way Melika can stay mad at us if we give her this. Then we can go back to playing just like we used to. We should give this to her right away. You're right. Let's head back to Leth and meet up at the inn. I don't think she was mad at them, but I, I think it was cute to do this little, like, side excursion. Oh, look, we're hurt right now, right? So if I... Uh, during break time, HP and stamina... Oh, it is restored during break time. But I, I need items to... Yeah, okay. I got you. Okay. Let's go turn this in.
Everybody here? Great. Then let's go to Milica. I really hope she likes it. She will. I, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced. Milica! We've got something to show you. Van, Van, hold on. Is it just me or does she sound rushed? Mom told me that girls need extra time to get pretty and stuff, maybe. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. It's no problem. Honestly, don't you know it's rude to turn up at a girl's house unannounced? And why did you bring Luke with you? Uh, they wanted to talk to you. Really? And he couldn't wait until tomorrow? Look, Milica. What is up with you two? You look like you're about to cry. Oh, we're super sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for? We got you this. Here, please take it. It's like a jewel. <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you. But it still doesn't answer my question. What are you apologizing for? And what's with the surprise present? Well, you see, you've been going home a lot earlier recently. We figured we'd... We'd... Done something to upset you without realizing. Huh? So we wanted to make it up to you. Will you still be our friend? But I'm not angry. What? You're kidding. I'm really not. So, so then we... We got it all wrong. <laughs> so that's why you guys went and found the stone. Such doofuses. I don't think I'm going to give it back to you, though. I'm going to treasure this always. Do what you like with it. As long as it makes you happy, Milica. <laughs> I'll take good care of it. Yeah, pretty much. In that case, I'll see you both tomorrow. Bye! Aw, oh, what the heck was that? All of our hard work. Uh, you made Milica happy, though. That's right, she was really happy. Our hard work really paid off. Whatever. If it was just a misunderstanding, then that ain't so bad. I'm glad that worked. Guess we should head home. Race she to the fountain. We'll catch you there, too, Luke. Luke, I've got to say thanks for all your help. Thank you so much for helping. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> we had tons of fun, too. Looks like something's bothering you. Uh, we never asked why Melika leaves early. You're right. I forgot. <laughs> I guess at least we know she isn't angry at us. Maybe it isn't any of our business. Nope, I can't let this go. But Vaughn, I've got to go and ask her why. Vaughn, wait. we got to catch up to him. Vaughn, there you are. Why are you hiding? Shh, look over there. Uh, what are you doing? Quick gawking and look at Milica's house. Why, what's going on? What 
So it's decided... Yes, I found us a nice house in Shatola. I think you'll both love... Oh, they're moving! In Shatola? I guess I'll get to work on my tan. <laughs> Don't you think you're a little young to be concerned with that? Shatola's right by the sea, so you'll have lots of places to explore. Being able to swim in the sea whenever I like does sound like a lot of fun. In that case, I guess you'll have no problem helping us pack. Sure! We've all got to do our part, and I'll need to inform the mayor. It's only going to get busier from here. They're moving? How can we play together every day if she moves? Come on, you two. Uh, let's call it it. It's time to go home. Yeah, you don't need to tell me. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, Van. Sure. Aw. Got some gorilla out of that. Now, do I buy this? That's the question. Makes it possible to fish? I really want this. I'm doing it. You can fish at fishing points. Reel in fish by pressing A. It might be a waste to do that now, but I'm... But see, I what I'm thinking is I could sell fish, which I think would sell well. I'm hoping. I don't know. So, oh wait, what am I doing? So I can do that. I need to get better at this for clearly. Get it! Gazing carp. That's cool. Come <laughs> on. 
Okay. Um, we've been going for about an hour. I think I'm going to end this part off here, guys. Leave a like. Subscribe. Share with a friend. If you're excited for more. Um, I don't know when the next part's going to come out quite yet. I'm going to try my best to push it out tomorrow. Uh, if not, it'll happen uh, uh, soon. Don't you worry about that. Uh, bird eye, bird's eye bray. Um, I'm going to throw these fish up into the cell place and probably get my dude to sleep.